Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video I am going to be explaining to you the difference between shared hosting and VPS hosting. Now I'll drop a link in the description area so you can check out the best shared hosting and VPS hosting companies, compare them, and receive special discounts. Okay, so let's start. Now the first thing we need to get into is what VPS hosting even is because some of you may not be familiar with the term, so I think it's best to cover that first. Now, VPS hosting stands for Virtual Private Server Hosting. Now, if you don't know what a virtual private server is, I'll explain it now. A virtual private server is essentially a private server. Whereas in shared hosting, you would be hosting your website among a multitude of other websites, having a private server or a virtual private server is more similar to having your own computer. This means that your private server, or virtual private server in this case, would host specifically your website and no others. When you buy a VPS, essentially what you're doing is buying your own private server, or at least renting it. All of the software which runs on this virtual private machine is entirely up to you. You can make pretty much any decision you want on what you want to run on that machine. Whether it be the web server software, the MySQL database, or even the underlying operating system, it's pretty much entirely your decision what you run and how you run it. Now let me explain shared hosting. So shared hosting, as I mentioned earlier, is where your website is hosted with a multitude of other websites on the same server. What this means is that that server essentially has the exact same software, the exact same cookie cutter layout, for each customer. When you use shared hosting, the hosting provider pretty much takes care of all of the setup for you. But because of this, the hosting provider usually allows only a set number of programming languages, CMS systems, or content management systems, and environments. Now, if you are using WordPress to build your website, it's worth mentioning that shared hosting will usually work for you. WordPress is a very common platform, but this is something to keep in mind when you're looking at the difference between shared hosting and virtual hosting. What content management system are you going to use, and is it compatible with your hosting plan? Now, I'm going to take a second to explain the key differences and the pros and cons of each type of hosting. With VPS hosting, it's extremely, extremely customizable, as I mentioned before. You pretty much have complete control over everything you want to do. Now this can be a gigantic pro, because if you are adept at the technical aspects of website development, you can make your website function even better than if you were just using a shared hosting platform. You can customize your hosting server specifically to your needs. That means depending on the type of website, depending on the traffic you get, depending on the content management system, you can customize the server so it works best specifically for you. And you gotta admit, that's pretty nice. This does, however, lead into a little bit of a problem with VPS hosting. If you are not technically adept, or if you are just newer at hosting, if you're getting into hosting and looking to host your first website, you could run into some problems when you actually try to figure out how to use a VPS. Although they are much more customizable, that is also paired with them being much more complex. Therefore, it's usually not a good idea to use a VPS unless you are confident in your technical ability and understanding of coding and website development in general. For shared hosting, the pros and cons are pretty much the same, but reversed. Although it is less customizable, it is much easier to use, and much better for beginners who are just getting into website hosting and development. Now, I do want to take a second to go over the price difference as well, because this is something that you do need to take into consideration. As you can see here on my screen, we have a few providers and hosting types up, and we have a comparison between them. Let's go ahead and take Hostinger. As you can see, the unmanaged VPS, which is the virtual private server, is around $3.95 to $29.95 per month. The shared hosting, however, is only $0.99 cents to $3.99 per month. Looking at another comparison, we can take Bluehost, where the unmanaged VPS is anywhere from $18.99 to $59.99 per month, whereas the shared hosting is only $2.75 to $13.95 per month. Now, as I'm sure you can tell, there's a bit of a price difference between shared hosting and virtual private servers. If you're wondering why this is, you can kind of think of it this way. 
When you rent an entire machine to host your website on, it's naturally going to be more expensive because the company can't allocate those same resources over to other customers as well. You may be paying more, but you're definitely getting more customization if that's what you want. So these prices are also something to take into consideration when you are looking to buy your first hosting plan. Now to review what we've talked about so far, VPS hosting is essentially much more complex and more expensive, but it gives you the ability to customize your website and your hosting platform almost endlessly. Shared hosting, on the other hand, is cheaper and easier to set up for beginners, but isn't quite as customizable. Because of this, two really good things to keep in mind when you're debating whether you should get a VPS hosting plan or a shared hosting plan are the price and your expertise in website development. Well, thank you so much for listening. Remember, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. And just a reminder that I will include a link below so you can compare the best VPS hosting plans and shared hosting plans, as well as receive special discounts. Thanks for watching, till next time, and have a great day.